Well, here again at the 2013 Canterbury A&P Show, and with me now is Simon Cox from Rural Livestock. What's your role there, Simon? Uh, at the moment, several, yeah, several Tony. Yeah. yeah, no, it's still, still in Southland. Uh, moving back to Canterbury mid-January, mid-late January, and taking on the role of uh, Livestock Manager for Mid-South Canterbury, overseeing Canterbury. Looking forward so, to coming back? I am. It's your home, home ground? Home ground, yeah, after 16, 17 years down in the south. Yeah. Uh, loved it down there, it's a great place, great people. Yeah. And um, it's been, been a big growth area for our business. Yeah. So it's back up here to have another go up here. Yeah. Mm. Now Rural Livestock, relatively young company, how many years have you been going now? Relatively young, uh, we had our 25th AGM today, so well probably as in a... In world terms. Yeah, in world terms. <laughs> as, a, as a merged company, yeah. uh, probably, which was Otago, and, and, and the Canterbury team, uh, six years. But Canterbury's been operating for 25 years, which is a uh, pretty amazing achievement. Yeah. And um, those two of those shareholders are still involved. Um, and John Honeybone, one of the you know, starters of the business, he's still yeah. around and still working for us, which is great. Yeah. So the numbers have just been growing, hasn't it? Agents on the ground? Agents on the ground, yep. Uh, I think there was five or six of them started up. There was four or five in, in Otago, Southland. And, and we're now in excess of 50 agents. We're just over, actually, 51. Um, it's six office staff. Yeah, so it's, it's been great. It's good. Very much on, on, on the Canterbury traditional values uh, of, of service and, and, and personal service. So you guys have a, a great presence here at the Canterbury A and P show, and a good good site. Everybody knows where you are now, Simon. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's been an important part. I think right from day one, that John and, and uh, Mike and Co had a had a presence at the show, and yeah, we're just just along the way here and, and very much involved. Um, well, Mick Withers does the commentating in the in the cattle arena, and yeah. uh, so no, it's good. It's a good spot. Also, the young auctioneers mix going to be amongst that. Yep, mix amongst that. Uh, we actually haven't got one in this year, but um, it's it's been bringing young people in, right. into the industry is just so important. Yeah, and across the industry, you know, it's not only with us, but um, and upskilling auctioneers, you know, it's a, it's a great skill. Yeah, it's a, and it's a skill not all of us can do. So you know, we've got to keep fostering it. And and how do you go about getting more guys to get amongst that? Like a lot of too shy, too um, nervous. Yeah, no, that's true. It's it's about giving them a crack, and they've got to start off by selling the you know fat ewes at, at yeah. Charlton, Lawnville, or Canterbury Park. And um, we we run about one to two training days, or over two to two days actually every year, where we get Neville Clark down. Yep. Oh, one Clark. Of the best. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Good Gisborne man, and and probably. Yeah, one of the best auctioneers. He's very good with the young guys, yep. and um, he comes down and, and we give everyone a go. Yep. We, we encourage anyone we employ to have a go, yeah. and yep. they, they've either got it or they haven't. So, yeah. Exactly. Mm. As you know, it's quite quite nerve wracking. Unless you're pissed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, not many so yards who drive past nowadays, and, and there's not the, the rural sign. No, none. None, I don't think. Yep. I, uh, Col everywhere. Colgate's probably the only one, but we, you know, we're represented right throughout. Um, it's it's, an, it's a part of the service that we provide for our clients, um, that and on farm. Yeah. So, and, and it's good. Yeah, it's, it's an important part of our economy. Mm. Mm. And not just real estate. Uh, sorry, not just stock. Now you're moving into the real estate. Yep, moving to real estate. Uh, it's pretty, very much in its in infancy. Um, Graham Cooch and Edwin Lewis. Uh, but we, it's an area. It, once again, it's it's sort of a, it's a good fit with our business, and we've got part of the service for our clients along with finance yeah. and so we we don't envisage moving into any other part of the industry because just those two fit with livestock yeah and uh, we will leave the leave the merchandise boys to do their bit yeah and just specialize in that area now speaking of livestock you're right out there on the cattle lawn and some not bad looking specimens coming in front of you good cattle out there there will be um, the, I dare say the sheep pens are the same. I've got to get over there yet, Tony. I've just yep, been yep. Uh, doing other things like races and things yep. like that. But <laughs> um, yeah, look, it's 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 the shop window for a lot of these studs. Yeah. And so this is where they can come, all be in the same spot, and and, uh, and show what they've got. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, well, I hope you have a good time at the show, Simon. Yeah. Good. Are you racing Saturday? No, I'm not, mate. No, I'm heading south again. So. Yep. 
to go back and do some work. And nearly time to pack up. Nearly time to pack up. Yeah. Thank you very much, Simon. Good. Cheers, mate. Bloody okay. good.